America trends and you do too. I'm Barry Nussbaum filling in for Dr. G. I've got her spot next to me all warmed up for Monday. Okay, let's see the final results of our poll tonight. The question was, which Trump child had the best speech at the Republican National Convention? Donald Jr., Ivanka, Tiffany, or Eric? Let's look at our results. Donald Jr., 41, Ivanka, 22, Tiffany, 6, Eric, 31. Ooh, Donald Jr. takes it. I got to tell you, the way I see it, Donald Jr. best presented the issues. Ivanka best talked about her dad. Remember, we talked about this in a previous segment. Ivanka talked about the fact that her father has more women in executive positions than men. Parity on employment and leave when a, a woman is out uh, on maternity leave. I think they both presented well. Eric did a nice job, too. Tiffany was a little young, but nothing to be embarrassed about. These four kids are great assets. Thanks for voting. Um, not a big surprise on the answer. Okay, where's Dr. Gina now? Is she back with us? Can we talk more? I, I can't believe you had me back, Barry. I'm so excited. Here's my analysis on why they picked Don Jr. Are you ready? Go for it. He's hot. He's hot? hot. Yeah. I, I mean, I noticed, wait a minute, I noticed you're whispering. I, I can't lie. I'm just telling you, my friends are all like, whoo, you know. And I have to tell you, my little beau got the cutest picture with him. It was very, very sweet to him. So he called him my man. So Whoa. his beau was pretty excited about that. Did you get a chance to meet any of the kids in person? We did. Well, I have already met a couple of them just in, you know, being at Trump Towers and things like that. But to, did get to talk to them, uh, a couple of them. And uh, but, the, but I, I wasn't with Bo, my littlest, when when Donald Trump Jr. Uh, grabbed him out of a crowd and it was, you know, the Secret Service was whooping him through the building. You know how they do, and they weren't stopping for anybody. And he grabbed Bo out of the crowd because his wife thought Bo was cute, and so Bo is pretty proud of that fact. I love it. I love it. If 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 you've got the memory from last night, I know you haven't slept. Tell me, what is the number one issue you heard Trump talk about tomorrow, uh, last night, that's going to carry forward into the campaign and be his strongest suit? Anything new you heard? Anything great you heard? I really liked his for you message um, because I think Hillary is going to have this whole. A woe is me thing message next week. You know, it's going to be all about division and that we're all, all victims and that we need government to fix everything for us. And it's going to be all woe is me, you know. And I love that Donald Trump did the whole thing. Hey, I'm in your corner. I will fight for you. I will win for you. So much so you're going to get tired of winning. I, I mean, I know we've heard that message before, but I don't know if he ever said it quite as as as, as, a, as, as in much in depth as he did last night. The other thing is I love that he had a real hint of humility about him. We were all cheering, and I don't know if you catch this on TV or not, but if you were there, you definitely could catch it. When he came in, you were all, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, we want Trump, we want Trump, that's what you were saying. And he's like, USA, 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 it's not about me, it's about you. And I thought that, because that was a natural moment, that wasn't in the speech. And then the other thing is I loved his self-deprecation last night when he said, well, if anybody knows the system, and that look on his face right there, Barry, I thought that was priceless. Did you catch, could you tell that on TV? Yeah. Yeah. You know what that I really like? That was too funny. What we talked about earlier tonight, I don't know if you got a chance to see it. Um, I really like the fact that he's put a stake in the issue of I'm the law and order candidate. I hope he doesn't let go of that, but we're scared, and I think he can own that issue if he holds on to it. I do too, and I love that he brought up the Johnson Amendment because that will solidify uh, Christians across the, the world, and I love how strongly he spoke in favor of Israel as well. I think both of those things were really important. I talked about Especially Israel in my opening. I was very yeah. appreciative of that. Gina, yeah. we got to go. Thanks, America, for watching. Thanks, Dr. Gina.